Hi beauties and girls, it is Melissa Q. Welcome back for another video. And today's video is the finale for the 12 Pans of Christmas. Yes, I was sick over the holidays and <clears throat> everybody was sick. So um, I do have my update one, which I'm going to link over here so you guys can check it out. But this is a project that I really wanted to move and get some product products out. I did get through about seven products and it is in that video of update one. We're going to go through the ones that I was left um, using. I did not replace them. I know towards the end I was talking about replacing them, but I did not replace them. I just wanted to get through the ones that I already had so let's jump right in it I actually kept it in this which I really do like one of the things that I'm noticing is that if I want to get through product and I want to keep it organized for my project pans I definitely need to keep it in a contained area because when it's all over the place you end up forgetting and a lot of times you end up moving on to something else rather than going through those products so I definitely see the difference in keeping them compartmentalized away from your other items so the first item, first of all, let me talk about two items that I definitely know they're going to be repurchases, but I did finish and it was in that last video and it is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. This is something that I have, I've really enjoyed. It's very, very different than other setting sprays or even mist. You can use this in conjunction to your skincare, which I really do like that. The only problem I have is that there have been a lot of complaints about the atomizer on the top or the atomizer. I think that's how you say it. And that is the mist. Um, it comes out very like splotchy at times and you don't get all the product as you can tell I got as much as I can but I really do like this I would repurchase it and y'all kind of sweet confession like a serious confession um when I go into Sephora when they have the sampler out like this I do spray it in the store because I love the scent it's like a light minty scent um it kind of reminds me of thin mints you know the girl scout cookies but it smells so so amazing and I really can tell a difference in my makeup and my skin when I do use that so that's a repurchase another item that I am incorporating into my skincare regimen because I love it so much is the Caudalie this is the comfort uh, comfort cream light I really do like this It's by L'Occitane and you can get this in Sephora it's like $29 and this is 1.7 ounces I feel like that that's a reasonable price for a luxury type of moisturizer and this is so moisturizing like my skin was amazing my foundation glided on my makeup looked amazing under it and it's really this one is a light one now if you want a night cream I would just say get the comfort cream not the light one get the regular one but this one is really good for every day and it mixed very well with my um, SPFs that I wore with this so this is the those are two these two are going to be repurchases for me and these are like skincare slash products that I would incorporate in with my makeup okay so moving on to the ones that I have this is the peaches and clean four-in-one cleansing milk this is by soap and glory um, it's messy because the mark right here if you can tell it started right here and now like if you have really have to level it out but it started here and now I'm down to about here and um, this was okay I won't repurchase this because I found a lot of other products that are a lot better do I want to go ahead and finish this off um, I probably will um, it wasn't horrible but like I said I have so many other things that are way better that melts off my uh, makeup that doesn't hurt my eyes or burn my eyes this will burn your eyes it does have like a peaches and mint scent so I really did enjoy that but I won't be repurchasing because it's not a favorite and I'm learning that that's what I want to keep in my routine is are things that I'm constantly reaching for the next thing that I loved was the this was the FCA naturals chocolate wonder oil now I put it in this bottle because I love the spray I'm out of all of, I'm out of that would I repurchase it um, if it was on sale it does it is online but I tend to like these oils that I can actually go in and purchase 
um, unless it's something that I really do like. I try to avoid online if it's not a product that I absolutely love and I have to. I would rather go into the store and grab it. And um, yeah, so FCA Naturals, the chocolate wonder that was actually in here. So this has been emptied twice over. I did like it. I would repurchase it if it's on sale. The next thing is the Bakura Tonga Mousse Opular Hair Cream. I really did like this, but unfortunately this only works for me in the in the summer months I do have still a little bit in here it does contain glycerin and I wasn't aware of that when I purchased it I absolutely love 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 the cure products uh, this is one of my like holy grail products this is the honey latte detangling hair milk I use it to moisturize my hair this is from the same brand but unfortunately I won't be repurchasing this just because I prefer now to get products that I can use year-round and it's really good in the summer months, but unfortunately in the winter months, it really dries out my hair. It causes it to frizz because of the glycerin. And um, yeah, so I have a little bit in here. I'm probably not going to use it. It's probably going to go bad by the time spring comes around. So I'm just going to consider this an empty. Okay, the next product that I, um, I almost finished was the... Laneige this is the firming mask I thought I was going to be finished with it but I have like one more use and because I was sick I was not trying to put this on my face um I wasn't filling it up to it but this is a firming mask would I repurchase this no because um it does do the job but I'm not into firming mask right now um that's something that uh, my skincare if I can use a cream that firms this is more of a jelly like the consistency and texture is kind of weird um it was really good but um, no, this is something from Laneige I would pass on and not purchase with my own money. So after this use, I'm done with it. Finally, the last product was the Lancome Benefit. This is the UV Broad Spectrum SPF 50 water resistant. Um, this is their SPF. It is oil free, it does say shake well. I really, really do enjoy this. And I can tell the difference when I use this and when I don't use this with my makeup. I really like the fact that it's oil free. It works, it pairs really, really well with oil free products. Um, now, if it's not oil free, I too, I do tend to get those little balls or different, it looks crusty or it looks like dead skin when it's not. It's actually just um, the product collecting not agreeing with what I put on my face, but I really do enjoy this. It pairs really, really well with my, um, what is that? My NARS All Day Weightless Luminous Foundation and other primers that are oil free, but I really do enjoy this and I would repurchase it. I did start here um, at the intro and then this is update one and right here I am at the finale at halfway which is what I really wanted to do I thought I was gonna get finished with this but I am happy that I am more than half done with this and yeah so that is the update for the 12 pans of Christmas I really did enjoy this I'm definitely going to do it next year I really do feel like I got through a lot of products and um, yeah to finish off seven out of the actually I got done with out of the 12 I got done with eight out of the four so I feel like that that is a great accomplishment um, and I'm saying it's teaching me what I like what I don't like and yeah I really did enjoy this I really enjoyed pairing up with the other gals that did this and this was the largest the largest uh, collab in the history of YouTube so I was so glad to be a part of that and thanks so much Jackie and all the other girls for um, allowing me to be a part of this project pan I really enjoy this community and I can definitely see myself getting through products in the time to come and that this has only inspired me to move forward thanks so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and check me out on all of my social medias it is melissa q 007 i post videos every monday wednesday and friday here on youtube and in 2018 i have some great ideas and some great things for my project pans i hope you enjoyed it and i will talk to you soon bye lovies